Good morning and welcome to our fifth week of our Lent study, Lent in Plain Sight by Jill Duffield. Thank you for joining me this morning as we look at our theme of oil today. Join with me in a word of prayer. Lord, distractions of every kind overwhelm us. Busyness, stress, fear, worry, comparing ourselves to others. When we try and quiet our minds, so much floods our consciousness that focusing on you and your will seems impossible. Send your spirit, the comforter, to quell the noise within and without so that we might know what oil we need to keep our lamps burning brightly with the light of Jesus Christ. And it is in his name we pray. Amen. Our first scripture reading today comes from Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13. Hear now a word of the Lord. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet their bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But as midnight, there was a shout, Look, here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. A word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I invite you to take a moment, pause, and reflect on this. So now, after you've reflected, Let's turn to two questions that Jill Duffield presented in her work. The first question is, what are you running low on right now in your life or in faith? How can you replenish it? The second question is, do you relate more to the wise or the foolish bridesmaids? When have you felt more like the wise bridesmaids? Why? Take a moment, pause the video and see the answer to these questions. So we're back. So one of the things I feel these questions are really important because of the current situation. I feel that as someone who tries to provide care for you all, I'd love to know what you're running low on right now, especially in your life of faith. And how are you able to replenish this? I invite you to email me when you have a chance. You can look on the church's site for my email. And let me know what this is and how I can pray for you during this time. Our second scripture reading comes from Matthew 26, verses 6 through 13. Hear now another word of the Lord. Now while Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar, very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum, and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to him, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly I tell you, whenever this good news is proclaimed in the world, what she has done 
will be told in remembrance of her. Take a moment, pause the video, and meditate on these words. So our final rec reflection for this morning are two parts from Jill Duffield's book. The first is, have you ever participated in discussions about what is faithful to spend on what? How do you discern the answer to these questions? When have you anointed Jesus with expensive oil, lavishly giving your very best out of love for him? Think about these for a moment. I think it's important when we look at our faithful giving and faithful spending, especially during these times of crisis. We see that the stock markets and the global economies are struggling right now, and it's important to to recognize that we need to put our faith in God, but also the recognition of how we can lavishly give our very best out of love for God. We see Jesus' work in this world, and I invite you to also include in the email how you are working to see what's faithful to spend on especially during this time of crisis. Thank you for joining me today. I will pray us out, and if you have any prayer concerns, please reach out. Let us pray. Jesus, you remember. You remember us. You honor what we offer in love, be it expensive oil or a heartfelt lament. When we come to you unashamed and pour ourselves out in love or fear or doubt or praise, you welcome us. You know us. You remember us. When we feel as if we have nothing to give, you embrace us and tell us we are enough. You remember us even when we forget you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you for joining with me today. I hope you have found strength and nourishment during this time. God bless you.